Hey guys, and welcome back to Heart Speak Warriors Forum. I am Jennifer Chappelle, and of course you can see I've got my trusty tribe with me right here in the back. That's Bella, Atlas, Jackson, Alexa, and who did I miss? Tinky. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to be talking about self-soothing, but before we get started, I want to take you to my honey, the love of my life. I'm going to let him do his commercial for Heart Speak. Let's hear it for the sponsorship, y'all. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Heart Speak Warrior Farm. I have Jennifer right here with me. Isn't it amazing how she's doing a video? But she's right here with me. So what I want you guys to do, come check out Plant Based Homestead Prepper when you finish. Keep watching Heart Speak Warrior Farm. But... <laughs> Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to both channels. All right, so welcome back. So, like I said, today we're going to be talking about self soothing. The reason I say that is because I've been doing that literally all day long. Now, what I mean by self soothing is that usually when we're children, our parents are the ones that kind of wrangle us in when our emotions are out of control or they're the ones that allow us to have all of those emotions kind of in a safe environment. So when a kid is throwing a tantrum on the kitchen floor, mom is allowing that kid to have that tantrum to express all those feelings, but in a safe way so that that kid doesn't actually have, you know, problems in public or, <laughs> or so that that kid doesn't experience some of the negative side effects of having all of those emotions all at once and then mom comes over and they either have a conversation about it or mom simply tells that kid that whatever it is that was making them so upset is okay you rock a baby when a baby cries that's soothing the baby you um give food to the baby you may give treats to the baby you may even um, give sp specific toys and things like that to children that make them feel better. When I was younger, I had one of my very favorite toys. Was, well, I had two of them. Uh, that's four. But I had two. <laughs> I had two of them. Uh, one was a brown teddy bear that actually didn't belong to me. It was my mother's bear, but I sort of kind of claimed it as mine. And me and Teddy were good people like he slept in the bed with me it was it was a comfort um and then the other one was my jenny bunny oh my god my white stuffed rabbit with the purple bow tie i could not go a day without my jenny bunny it was a serious situation if i couldn't find her and the reason i say that is because some kids that's the way that they soothe themselves when their parents aren't around they learn to um get comfort from toys from stuffed animals from you know other people or other things that seem to create those safe spaces for those emotions however as you get older as an adult you don't have i mean i guess you could suck your thumb and i suppose you could drag your favorite blanket to the office or maybe you could carry your um teddy or your bunny around with you or you know eventually i suppose you transition into having a therapy animal or an emotional support animal so you could do all those things and the emotional support animal and the therapy animals i understand those those are actually sometimes prescribed by a doctor but dragging your blanket to work like linus or having your teddy in tow probably not the look you were going for as a 20 something or a 30 something a 40 50 or 80 something probably not the look you were shooting for so um in order to self-soothe we have to find some different ways to do that so what i wanted to do today was talk to you about just that how to find some different methods so that you can kind of relax your mind give your body some peace and then find a way for you to get comfort from a lot of the things that you have going on in your life that may not seem, I don't know, stressful or really much of a problem at the time, but definitely something that's kind of giving you pause in your day, taking you out of your element, making you feel like not yourself or kind of off track so how do we get back on track all right so the very first thing that i want to talk to you about number one pop, pop, 
our husband loves those little pop noises in his videos. He goes, number one, boop. But um, anyway, we're not going to worry about any of that stuff today because I want to make sure I get this video up for you guys today while I'm thinking about it. Um, so the first way to self-soothe can be listening to music. So let's start there. I love listening to music. My big dream in life is to be a music therapist. Not the music therapist that teaches people how to play instruments and read music as a way to um, work through some of their issues, but literally combination of talk therapy and listening to music, finding that music that speaks to your soul as a way to solve problems without prescribing medication. I truly believe that music is the universal language and it can solve problems for people without me having to give you medicine for the issue. And I say that because there are sometimes when you may be driving down the road and a song pops on and you'll cry and you're not sure why. Or you may listen to your very favorite heavy metal alternative rock song because you were angry about something that happened at work and that made you feel better. Or it could just be that, you know, something comes on your playlist at home and it's like your happy place song and it instantly puts you in a good mood and makes you want to dance. All of these things are you know, to me, indicators that there's something within the music, whether it's the rhythm, whether it's the lyrics, whether it's just simply a combination of the meaning behind the music against what the music is like, what the meaning and the lyrics are set to, that gives you something, a little push in the right direction, depending on what your mood was that day. So music, I think, is one of the best ways to self-soothe without having to spend a bunch of money and go out of your way to make it better. Everyone has access to music. It's on the radio. You can play it on your TV. There are music channels on your television. You can play it on your phone. If you still have a CD or a, a Walkman, <laughs> you can play it on there. You can sing. You can hum. Music's free. So it's an easy way for you to self soothe. The second one I wanted to talk to you about is movies because I'm a movie fanatic. There's a movie out there for every single emotion you have or a TV show for every single emotion you have. If you're in a fantastic mood and all you want to do is laugh, there's stand-up comedy, there's um, you know com comedic shows, there's romantic comedy movies, there's slapstick comedy, there's all kinds of stuff. If you're in the mood for like being scared or you want to kill people, there's all kinds of stuff out there for you to watch. There's horror movies, there's criminal minds, there's... Uh, I don't know, forensic science shows, there's all kinds of stuff. I watch air disasters all the time, mostly just because I want to know why things happen, why planes crash, but um, those are there. There's also, you know, thrillers or fantasy. Like, I watch Harry Potter a lot. So whenever I'm sick, I'm going to run a Harry Potter marathon, one through seven. I'm just going to do it. Well, actually, there's eight, but I'm just going to do it because those movies make me feel good. Magic is a big deal. I like magic. Um... And it makes me feel better. <laughs> hey, Jack, coming to be in the show. Um, so it makes me feel better. I like the um, the idea of the music. Thanks, guys. Uh, I mean, of the magic in Harry Potter. So the other thing is, um, you know, finding that vein that you're in at the time that you're in it. Because that's one of the biggest things that we tend to not do when we're trying to self-soothe. We try to go outside of our lane. We think because we're sad, we're supposed to listen to happy music to make us feel better. But that's not true. We don't have to do that. Um, if you're sad, listen to sad music. Let yourself cry. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be sad and not to be happy all the time. People think that you're supposed to be bubbly and live in this perfect rose-colored world all of the time. And that's simply not true. You don't have to do that. You don't have to be that person. Um, the other side of it is, enough you guys. The other side of it is you um, want to try to use something that's not going to necessarily counter the way that you feel, but that's actually going to speak to how you feel and then help you kind of get through that and get to the other side of it. Eventually, you'll come out to where maybe you will watch something happy or listen to something happy. The other thing that you can do is read. Reading takes your mind off things. It completely takes you out of where you are, forces you to concentrate on something else, and then puts you in a completely 
completely different place. And it doesn't matter what you read. Every book that you pick up is going to do that for you. Whether it's a mystery or it's an autobiography or it's something funny, it doesn't matter what it is. When you read, your brain is concentrated on the words that are on, that's on the paper, that's on those pages. And as you turn those pages and immerse yourself in the world that's being created by that author, your brain doesn't even have the capacity to worry about or think about whatever it was that upset you or made you sad or overwhelmed you because you are completely focused on reading because your brain is working to read the words, understand the words, comprehend the words, and then it's an immersive experience where a world gets created in your brain and kind of puts a veil over what's going on at the time. And it gives you a chance to kind of get out of it. Some of the other things that you can do to self-soothe that are very nice and inexpensive is hot showers and hot baths. Believe me, a lot of people say that, you know, just getting in the shower and kind of rinsing off the day is not a big deal but believe me when i tell you if you are feeling overwhelmed feeling frustrated and you jump into a hot shower and really allow yourself to kind of take that minute breathe step away from whatever else is going on and literally kind of wash off the emotions that you were having that can soothe you enough and give you breath enough and room enough to start your day over even if it's the end of the day it gives you a chance to kind of start your day again so definitely hot showers hot bath wash your hair wash your face like really get into that space where you are kind of cleaning away whatever has been clinging to you all day long because sometimes the problems are definitely being generated externally but they get the, they get attached to you and then you're wearing them all day long and you take them home and you take out whatever frustration or whatever feelings that you have that you've been dragging around with you since the morning you take them out on the people that you come home to and you don't want to do that because the people that you come home to haven't seen you all day and they love you and they just want to spend time with you and whatever it was that upset you in the morning they didn't do that to you that happened to you after you left the sanctuary of your house so those are some quick easy ways that you can self-soothe the other thing is um when you uh, oh um what i wanted to make sure you that you do real quick rewind to the movie portion binge watching shows on platforms like hulu netflix um the new one disney plus i have been wearing disney plus out today <laughs> and it just came out this morning at like 6 30 but i had pre-ordered my subscription and i was all over it and i had literally watched like five movies already today um but anyway so um use your prime membership you know things like that just anything that you can get running in the background that you can just let go that you've seen a million times over while you're doing some other things can also create kind of an ambient noise and create kind of some background noise some white noise something that you can ignore that will also kind of inherently and unconsciously kind of wash away some of that stuff as you're concentrating on doing a couple of other things so the um let's see the last way is definitely as you can tell playing with your dog your cat uh hanging out with your spouse i'm out i'm not saying that you can't with your friends but it's easier to find soothing um situations when you're at home and in the comfort of your own house and usually that's where you're going to be with your animals and with your spouse and with your children so definitely use the people that are within your house your refuge your sanctuary to make you feel good um so that so animals dogs cats they raise your immunity um they actually lower blood pressure they're really fantastic for um for for being therapeutic see hey atlas say hi to the people hi my name's atlas <laughs> atlas had his comprehensive at the vet today so he's a little bit mad with me because i dropped him off and they don't like going to the vet so anyways, um, so after that, there's, I mean, I'm sure there's other ways that you can find to self-soothe. You can always sleep. My husband does that when he gets overwhelmed and frustrated. He gets a nap in. I know a lot of people who do that. I try not to do that because sometimes a lot of sleep is not good. Like you can oversleep and make yourself more tired. Also, a lot of people um, can sink, more easily sink into depression when they're sleeping a lot. So I try not to use that as a way. But things are definitely worse when you're sleeping. 
So if you need sleep, get sleep. Um, so other than that, guys, there's nothing else that I wanted to talk to you tonight about because I want to make sure that that was, I got that off my mind because it was on my mind all day long as I was binge watching old Disney movies and thinking about buying Babysitter's Club books. I know that that kind of dates how old I am and everything, but sometimes going back to the things that you had as a child are definitely fantastic ways to soothe because those are the things that made you feel good then they'll probably make you feel good now i spent the day kind of giggling and laughing at movies and thinking about how much money i actually wanted to spend to buy babysitter's clubs books so i could watch so i could um read back through them so anyway guys i love you and i'm so glad that you're here and i'm ugh, overwhelmed by the response that I've been getting as far as comments and encouragement thank you guys so much I am so glad that we're on this journey together and I could not be happier that you're here with me today as well as my tribe they'll always be here I can't say that they'll always be in the videos but they'll always be around likely popping in and out of the background um and I want you guys to talk back to me give me comments like comment share Definitely subscribe if it's your first time here. Heart Speak Warriors Forum is a place for people to find motivation, inspiration, and practical information to help them get past some of the things that they've experienced in life. Because believe me, none of us get through this life unscathed. Everybody has had something happen to them. Everybody has a story. And in this place, in this time, right now, we're getting a chance to share each other's stories. My hope is to eventually start getting emails from you guys so that I can begin to share your stories and get more information about you, get to know you and take you on this journey with me. And I will also be sharing my story as we go along to kind of uh, allow you into my mind and the reason for uh, the formation of HeartSpeak. All right, guys, I, like I said, I will drop a video every single week. I know that I was a little late with this one. I do apologize, but I will be back next week. My hope is that every Tuesday there will be a brand new video for you guys Tuesday afternoon. So hold me to it. Keep me accountable. Um, again, thank you so much for being here. If no one else tells you, I love you. I appreciate you. I think that you're amazing. You're going to be someone, if you're not already someone, even though I believe that everyone is born a somebody. You just get to be a bigger, better, greater, brighter version of yourself every single day. So anyway, I will see you guys back here next week right here at Heart Speak Warriors Forum. Like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell so that you'll get all the notifications for the new videos. And I will see you guys back here next Tuesday.